So before moving sign rule and cosine rule, uh, some of the important points we should consider uh, is one is isosceles triangle. Do you remember what is isosceles triangle? Uh, no, sir. Isosceles triangle yeah, is yeah, one, two same, sides. Same, yeah, yeah so. Two sides are equal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember, now, this is the most basic thing to remember, which any student can remember. Some important points. First thing, if I draw the bisector from the top of the uh, thing, it will be perpendicular and it will bisect the base. Okay. Perpendicular. Okay. Yeah. Bisects the base. Mm -hmm. Understood this thing. Yeah. Second important point. Let me just draw the isosceles triangle once again. Let's say the these two sides are equal. Okay. Now opposite yeah. to this side, these two angles will also be equal. Opposite angles will also be equal. Remember this thing. Okay. Okay, so can you see what he said? I'll just explain once more. So let's say we have this as a isosceles triangle, that this side is equal to this side. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. So just observe this side. So opposite to this yellow side, so this is a yellow angle. Can you see that? Yes. And this red side, Opposite to this red side, there will be a red angle. So basically, these two angles would be equal. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So if two sides are equal, two angles will also be equal. This is the most important thing. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now over here, if you observe in question number one, let me just label them A, B, C. Can you see this line mark? Yes, that means it's equal sides. Mm. Yeah, so that means AC is equals to AB. Can I say that? Oh, I'm sorry, can you see it? AC is equals to AB. Yeah, you can say that. So that means all are equals to six. So can I say this is also equal to six? Yeah. Now I need an angle. How can I find the angle? Then I have all the three sides. So we can use cosine rule. Okay. What is cosine rule? Uh, the C square. C square equals to A square plus B. B. B square minus two AB cos C. C. Now always remember to change this formula as per your question. Need of the question. Yeah. Okay. If it's tan, then it's tan C, right? Now I need to find this angle. Can you see that? Yeah. Basically, basically alpha. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yeah. So, first and foremost thing is cos alpha. Okay. Okay. The angle is alpha, no? So, opposite to that side is 6. We will go for 6 square. Not able to understand. Should I repeat once again? No, no, I got it. I got it. Because the angle in the C is 6 square. Yeah, this is uh, the main focus, the angle. So the opposite, opposite to... Yeah, 6. Got it, got it. 
So yeah. I'll start from the back, cos alpha, and I will write the same thing over here, C, 6 square. Understood? Yeah. Rest 2 can be A, B, anything. Either this can be A or this can be A. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, A, I'm taking 3 square plus 6 square minus 2 bracket 3 bracket 6. That's it. Understood? Yeah. And you can use n solve to find out alpha. Okay. Uh, and sir, if it's the angle is a, a tan angle. What do you mean by tan angle? 